Hello, good day to you. This video looks at how to create storage pools, which basically is like combining either virtual disks or physical disks that are attached to the system or other servers within our group of servers that we have access to and combining them into one big, shall we say, um, storage space that is accessible. Okay, on which we can create our own, shall we say, volumes, etc. Okay, very simple. Go to Server Manager, click over here or there, and then Server Manager opens up. Okay, we then need to go to File and Storage Spaces, okay, which is this one over here. When you get it, you start off over there and then go to File and Storage Spaces, and then click basically, let's start off with Disks. Okay, let's just bring them online. Okay. Okay, it just gives a little warning saying um, if somebody else also has access to that disk or another computer has access to it, it could cause corruption. Okay. In this case, they're all owned by here. And as you can see, you can literally see all the disks that are available to us. You know, it's on this server, on other servers, etc. So go to storage pool. Okay, let's create the storage pool for this server. Okay, so you click on the primordial. Okay, and then a new storage pool. Very simple. Next. Okay, give it a name. SP1. Okay, or anything, it doesn't really matter. You can then click next. Okay, and we have access to um, these disks. Okay, basically, there's a couple of ways that they can be used. They can be used over here. We're just using a um, demo size disk. Okay, four gig. Nobody has just that size anymore. Um, but they're just for demonstration purposes. So we've got these together. Okay, you'd probably have TB disks attached. Okay. Um, click next. Okay. And then it's created a 12 gigabyte one. Okay. And then create next. Okay. Once that's finished. Okay. Now we can see we have created our storage pool. However, if we were to go to explore, um, file explorer, you would basically not see that disk there. Okay. If we went to computer management and then disk management, you would also not see that disk. It's not even available. So now what we need to do is basically create a virtual disk within that, okay, within that storage pool. Okay, so that's that. Okay, give it a name, storage pool disk one. Okay, all right, if we had an SSD, you could have used that, but no. Okay, now the way this works, okay, our virtual disk, if it's simple, we had created before a 9.75 GB disk, okay, and if we create simple, you'll pretty much get most of that, however, there is no fault tolerance, okay, if you mirror it, okay, you're basically mirroring the data, so basically one disk will write, another disk will have a copy of it, etc. You know, if you have parity, it's striped across all the disks, which also is resilient. Okay, so basically, mirror and parity give you fault tolerance. So if any one of these disks dies, okay, then basically you still have the ability to keep going on with data recovery. Okay, but in the simple, if any one of these disks dies, most of your data would probably be lost unless you have some very, very good data recovery techniques and software, etc. Okay, anyway, so just to prove our point, okay, going on simple, we'll create a fixed size, okay? Um, as you can see, it's literally saying the maximum you can use is the free space. Okay, let's go backwards. Okay, let's go mirror. Okay. Again, fixed, okay, you can use only 3 gig out of 9, so it's basically a third of it, okay, so it's mirroring the data across 3 disks, okay, let's go parity, parity, 
you will get a little bit more, okay? Which is nice, and to be honest with you, parity does offer almost like a raid 5 kind of concept, you know? You could think of it like that. Okay. All right. Now, as you probably saw, there's thin and fixed, okay? Depending on the choice you choose, simple, mirror, or parity, depending on your requirements, okay? You then have thin, okay? Which is basically, you can just keep adding extra discs in here. And then basically it just keeps increasing the size as you add more discs. So it's like a never-ending disc up to the maximum disc attached kind of thing. Okay, it's fixed. It literally creates one disc at the beginning and that's it. Okay, so it's 9 GB. It's never going to change. Okay, thin is probably a little bit more um, versatile in servers nowadays where you're using virtual environments etc etc okay anyways let's go there um we can theoretically specify 10 gig you know even though we don't have 10 gb okay basically it's gonna keep getting filled up to 9 gb if we don't add another disk to cover that extra 1 gb or depending on the parity or mirror you're gonna kind of like run out okay and it'll give you a disk fix and full error. Okay, so that's it. We've given it there. Okay, create. Okay, it's also a little bit quicker to create the thin disk rather than the fixed size disk. Okay, so what are we doing now? Okay, we're there. Disk four. Okay, now we're basically creating a disk for it. Okay, so we had created a 10 GB disk, okay, that's the maximum size over there, volume size, okay, we're now assigning it a drive letter, or you could put it within a folder, okay, or if you don't want to assign a drive letter or folder at this moment, that's also a possible option, okay, we're giving it drive D, that's not a problem, okay, NTFS, or the new resilient file system, okay, the choice is yours, NTFS for now, as server 2012 seems to prefer that, R2, um, 2016 is moving towards the resilient file system. Okay, you can choose the allocation size, give it a volume label. Okay, uh, let's say storage pool one. Okay, all right, there we go. Next, create that'll go through, it's formatting it. It'll do the rest pretty quickly. Okay, close. And if we go here, we now have D with 10 GB. Obviously, we haven't got 10 GB of real hard disk space in there because it's assuming we'll keep adding disks on. Okay, so just be careful, okay? What it says over there is not reality, okay? If you had done the original version, okay, let's just go back. Okay, there. Okay, if we just detach this virtual disk, okay, which is also a nice idea, okay, and delete the virtual disk. I'll just do that in a minute. But as you can see, you have 1.5 GB. Delete the virtual disk. Okay, so that's how to add, that's how to delete. Okay, just quickly back there. Okay. If it was simple, if it was fixed, okay, the size, maximum size, okay, 9 GB, you would literally have, it takes longer though, okay, when we get to the next stage, okay, creating the disk, okay, next, try letter D, okay, there we go, same, okay. It was quite quick this time. Okay. Percent allocated, 100%. Okay. So here we go. It's now a disk drive that literally is reality. What it says over here is what you actually have. Um, hopefully this has helped. Um, thank you for watching.